so I've been putting this off for a while now but see these we're going to finish my collage wall and fill up all those frames I think I'm going to replace some of them and put them like all in sort of one cohesive theme and make it look good and maybe even do like a bit of a rush job because I, I want to get this done like I want to get a project ticked off my list so yeah that's what we're gonna do today let's get to painting to get inspiration for my gallery wall I knew I wanted something with sort of a green natural theme so I looked at Pinterest and just browsed through some of the paintings and galleries wall gallery walls they had there for reference and once I had gotten my ideas in place I started to cut up the paper. I measured my frames but I think I measured a little bit too small but that's okay we fixed that problem in the end and I got all my paper out and cut it to the right size so I had a nice pile of paper to start with. I sort of wanted this to be like an easy project and that involved also lowering my expectations a little bit on how pretty it looked. Um, the good thing about a gallery wall is that you sort of see it all as as one cohesive project so it doesn't really matter if there are mistakes here and there. Um, it's spring now so I painted some cherry blossoms and they, they don't look the nicest but when you see it all together I think the overall effect is still quite nice and calming and pretty. So that's just what I went for. Just sort of a relaxed, geometric-ish, natural painting. And yeah, it was fun to do, so I highly recommend. If you're thinking about how to cover a bit of space on your wall, this was a nice little project and I'm so glad that I did it. So I guess uh, on to the painting.
I'm really happy with that. Looks like a finished product. And that's another thing to tick off my to-do list. So good. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And now I have a gallery wall in my little studio area. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.